was just about to walk through the trees, like, instead of taking the path, because I'm one of those people that don't really follow the path or the rules. And there was like, like all these golden orb webs. There was about five of them just sitting in there. And I'm like, oh, maybe I won't be walking through that path. I don't really feel like pulling spider webs off me right now. going to find a place to sit but maybe we're going to go for a walk first so I wanted to share a little bit today and just give it see who's going to join me live I'm so grateful the sun's shining it's been like cyclone winds for like months it feels like on the sunshine coast walking along the the water and if you can see it there we'll see it in a minute hey Christopher so it's still windy I was going to go to the beach but it is still windy so I'm going to just find somewhere to sit near the water here here we go here's the perfect spot so and because um, because it is windy, hopefully it's not too windy to sit here. But I did want to come outside. Hey Aurora. There's a chair here, so I didn't need to bring my towel to sit down. But maybe I want to sit down on the ground. Hmm. Hello. Because I need to sit this way. So let me see that where's Where's the best light? Oh, look, there we go. Perfect. So I'm going to sit on the ground. Let me set this up. Let me towel. So you guys can let me know how you've been feeling. There's lots of, lots and lots of cosmic shifts going on. At the moment, lots of people feeling lots of different things. Decisions! <laughs> yeah, decisions. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Yeah, I really did want to go to the beach. I'm just adjusting my tripod. But um, just with this weather, the winds haven't died down yet. So, yeah, up and down depends on the minute. Yeah, sure. Cool. Yeah, because I posted um, last night and just like a lot of people I'm seeing, you know, in a really dark spot and a lot of depression, um, you know, like feeling unmotivated, know what they should be doing, but don't do it and then feel worse because, um, you know, they know they should be doing that thing, but they're not doing it. So they feel worse and it just kind of piles and compiles. Um, yeah, so headache and feeling super tired. So obviously, you know, when we feel tired, you know, I always check a couple of things. So yeah, if you're just joining live, or oh, I still need to lower this live stream, this live stream, this <laughs> lower this tripod down even more. Um, if you're just joining, let me know if you feel um, like if you've been feeling off or anything like that. Really curious to know uh, how you've been feeling because obviously there's a couple of things like I'm going to talk about being tired. Uh, awesome. Thanks for sharing, Linda. I'll check your comment in a second. So, like with the tired, obviously it's, you know, basic needs of sleep are important, um, you know, for our body, especially if we're not on a, you know, super vegan, super raw food diet, you know, we usually do need a bit more sleep. Um, and, you know, and then, you know, depending on our body type, the, it varies for, um, you know, how much sleep we need. So one thing is obviously, you know, when we're tired, it's like, okay, well, how many hours before midnight did I get sleep of? Um, I know for me personally, that makes a really big difference, right? If I, you know, stay up late working one night, the next day is usually pretty, uh, you know, pretty white, right? And I'm just conscious of that. Like yesterday, I was quite tired and I was like, right, so get through today and do what I needed to do. And, you know, I was in bed by 7.30 last night. So it is for me really noticing and, you know, how I'm feeling and then doing something about it. So when I commented and a lot of people, um, like, you know, I, 
you know, like you're showing there to Linda and, you know, I saw on the post, um, you know, the people commented on there. It is this sense of like, you know, like depression or motivation, like all of that, right? And it's kind of like hit us all in almost like a wave, yeah? And the thing is, you know, like the only reason I've, like I've been processing quite a lot is why I've been a little bit quieter. I'm going through big restructure, as you guys know, uh, and I'll go into more about that shortly. But um, the point I was saying is I'm like, you know, I haven't really, I guess, shared much about maybe the cosmic energies or whatever, like the people are feeling that I, you know, I'm seeing you guys post about and, you know, I'm seeing through people and, and I'm like, oh, I'm not, the thing is, I'm like, I'm not feeling that. <laughs> um, I have been a little bit, you know, tired yesterday, but I know I had a late night night before. But it's like, I used to feel that way all the time. I used to be affected by things all the time, right? I used to just get wiped for days, for weeks, for months. Um, and I'm, and it, it's like almost taking a little step back and going, wow, I actually don't, I don't feel that anymore, right? And there's several things that I'm doing regularly and shifting into it, um, like into, you know, that, that, um, you know, is not that I, I'm not feeling that anymore. And it's not that I'm not feeling it. It's that I'm very, very conscious that I could feel that. I could be in that space, right? Now, this is where it comes into the sense that nothing affects you unless you let it. Now, when people said, used to say that to me, I used to get so pissed off with them, right? Because I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I'm so affected by the moons or all that sort of thing. And whilst, like, I do believe, you know, that things out there, you know, everything's got an energy. We've got an energy. We're just energy beings constantly sensing and feeling all this energy, all this stuff too. Yeah, and you're back too. Yeah, so it's like, you know, Aurora, when you said, uh, you know, like you're tired, right? So there's a couple of new people joining live. Just let me know if you've been feeling the cosmic energies, what you've been feeling. Um, happy to, you know, give some insight and share a bit around that. So when you said, you know, Aurora, like tired, it's kind of like, yeah, so, so what, you know, like what's your sleep patterns been like for the past week? What's been going on for the past month? You know, like kind of have a, you know, check in around that and just go, oh yeah, maybe I need like a, a week of early nights, right? And, you know, like sleep is like the best magical healer ever. Um, you know, besides everything else in the world, you know, there's all these amazing things, but honestly, like sleep is really, you know, powerfully healing, yeah? Um, so when you're saying, you know, like, and when you wake up with a headache and feeling super tired, so obviously there's like the physical things that you can check in with, like, um, like, you know, like how much water did I drink the day before? What sort of foods was I eating the day before? Like all that sort of thing does play a role. And especially obviously as well, you know, like how much, how many hours sleep did I actually get? Especially the ones before midnight, right? So, um, you know, like they're the obvious, you know, physical things to check in. Um, they're like basic self-care. And then it's like, you know, then going to kind of the next step of like, okay, well, what's going on energetically? You know, like when was the last time I, I cleared my chakras? When was the last time, you know, I cleared the energy in my house? What's going on emotionally that I'm really, you know, not stuck on, but what's my main emotional charge at the moment, right? That sort of stuff can take a lot of energy and be really draining. Um, so those sorts of things. And the thing with a headache and too, like I'm really conscious and I teach this in Trusted Intuition in, you know, module four around you know like psychic attack and psychic abuse so it's not like oh, i've been psychic attacked and like just don't freak out it's not what i'm saying but it is something to check in with as well so you know as i said there's all these kind of check-in points and this is exactly what i teach and trust intuition because we are all energy beings and we are all moving through everything all the time like trees have energy we have energy the the cars have energy you know like everything's got a certain vibration and energy to it yeah so when you can, you know, have your list of check-ins, it's kind of like, you know, psychic attack can simply come from, you know, um, someone else's gossiping or bitching about you. And, you know, it's like the, it's, 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 it's all sub subconscious, right? But if somebody is um, negatively talking about you, it's like they're throwing knives or daggers or spears or arrows or, you know, like it's just like an energetic, like negative words hold a certain energy, right? So um, it's always, you know, checking that sort of thing too. But again, it's kind of like there's a kind of, there is a, you know, a certain order 
um, that you can check in of like, okay, well, how much water did I drink? How much sleep have I had? You know, like what's going on for me emotionally? And rather than going, oh, it's them. They're talking about it and it's their fault. That's the same thing as going, oh, the moon's making me so tired today, right? It's kind of like whenever you're pointing at something else and blaming something else, it's always three fingers pointing back at you. So it's always important to check back in with you, right? So I hope that kind of helps a little bit there, Aurora. Um, hey, there's some other people joining live. Say hi. Let me know if the cosmic energies have been, um, you know, affecting you or what's been going on for you. I shared a bit yesterday and I'll go into a bit more of my story shortly. Um, okay, so Linda says, hey, Hannah, depression usually really good at getting rid of it straight away, but it's harder at the moment. Sticking around longer and yeah, demotivated. Uh, easy stuff that shouldn't take me long. Feels like a drain to even attempt. Yeah, so I just want to speak to, you know how I just said then, um, hey, Olivia. I see okay, just had a little pause there. Okay. My water intake has been good. Okay, so Linda, I'm still answering your question too. My water intake has been good. I got a reusable water bottle. Yeah, <laughs> helping me drink more. Yeah, okay, awesome, sweet. Yeah, good check-in points. And I was just gonna say to that too, like you know how I just said, like there's a kind of order that you check in and see, you know, like kind of like a checklist, right? Like how much sleep have I had? What's my food been like? What's my exercise been like? Like basic self-care stuff, right? And then you can kind of go to the spiritual stuff. Now when you get really, really quick and in tune and you know, again, it's everything I teach and trust your intuition. It's like when you can, you know, when you're really clear in your intuition, you kind of, it's almost like they're just kind of standard and you can just pinpoint it straight away rather than going, okay, my checklist is this, this and this. But in the start, obviously, it's a step to learn how to do all that, right? Um, so, okay, so when you said there, Linda, um, you know, depression is usually really, you know, you're usually really onto it and shifting it and that sort of thing. So, you know how I just said before, like, like all this, you know, and I guess that's why I was like, oh, this is all going on for everybody. I better um, share about it. Um, for people because um, look what I just found sorry I'm getting distracted by caterpillars I don't know if you can see him oh look he's walking along there oh he's going back the other way can you see him <laughs> so at the moment we're like these caterpillars in the cocoon right and we're trying to find <laughs> trying to find our way through this like gonna jump off the ledge or not right um, so so I can build my cocoon um, Gosh, she looks the same color as the things on the ground. Okay, <laughs> same pattern. Um, hey, beautifuls. <laughs> I see you all joining live. Kristen, I see you guys. Hey. So, so yes, okay, get to the point, Hannah. So, Linda, you know how I said before that, like, and, uh, okay, sorry, I'm backtracking. I got distracted by the caterpillar. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> So I haven't really posted or shared much lately because I've been going through a big transformation. I feel like I've just come out as the butterfly and my wings are just starting to find, you know, I'm like, oh, new wings, right? Um, but, you know, I am seeing a lot of people and maybe that's the caterpillar like coming to share its message. Like we're kind of trying to find our way to build the cocoon to come out transformed, right? And it's in that sense where, you know, I haven't posted for a while because I've been going through my own kind of process and restructuring and I will always come out and share. I always say that all the time if I'm quiet, I'm processing, but I always come back out, right? Um, and share with you guys always. And um, so, okay, stay, stay on task, Hannah. <laughs> so, you know how I said, like, I was like, I'd, I realized that I'm seeing so many people in this space and a lot of people are kind of quiet. And I know when people are quiet, they're kind of like in stuff, right? You're, you're in stuff depression you're in you're, you're going through shit right we're processing yeah and and I noticed that a lot of people will maybe feel stuck or in the darkness and stuff like that or in depression and and I'm like oh my god I better like step up and like you know help guide you guys right through this because I realize I'm like I actually haven't been feeling that and it actually made me realize you know that for quite some time now I haven't actually kind of dropped back into that space I, I've I, I'm very aware that it's there like in myself like without even seeing you guys going on I'm very aware that it, it's it's there like I could easily drop into that space but I am consciously choosing not to and the biggest thing when I was driving here and like um, 
about to, like I just checked all you guys' comments and everything before I jumped, you know, drove here to jump on live stream. And the thing that came to mind was, do you know the most powerful thing for me of, you know, like I'm very aware that it's there and I could easily go back into that space. The most powerful thing, like so many things that I'm doing, right? And I teach all this in Trust Intuition. I teach it in Life Purpose Mentorship. I do it in my one-on-one coaching. And it's like, the most powerful thing. Are you guys ready for this? This is a big bombshell, okay? <laughs> this is a big bombshell. The most powerful thing is I haven't even been giving it words or energy. So I could easily say, oh my God, I'm so tired. Like when I'm checking in with my girlfriends, right? It's like, oh my God, I'm so tired. Like I don't know how many times in the past two weeks I could have said that, especially, right? She's like, how are you? And I'm like, I'm moving through my stuff and everything's flying and getting done in quicker speed than I realized, you know, like I'm really conscious of not even going, oh my God, I'm so tired. I stayed up late last night. I, you know, but it's like, I'm like, cool. I've got a really full day today. I'm doing, you know, my self care and then I'm going to bed at 7.30 tonight. Like I just don't even give it words or energy. So I know, you know, like I posted in the, you know, I posted last night and I was like, depression, feeling stuck and all that. Like I know, like I gave it words and energy, but it's not like, do you know what I mean? Like, I I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. It's like, you know, in my day-to-day talk with my friends, with my tribe, you know, like I'm really, really just not even labeling it anymore. I'm not even giving it energy because if I do, then I start to go down that space, right? Again, it's like the power of your words, the power of your focus. Like as we shift into these new cosmic states and we shift into this, um, you know, like new, um, you know, the new earth and everything's getting speeded up and we're becoming more awake, people are waking up. Like in that space, right, it's like the power of our focus is amplified. Like if you want to really understand what the new earth is, It's that we are powerful beyond measure and our power is becoming more potent as we move forward from from this day forth, right? So when you are really, really conscious and tapped into that, right, the most powerful thing you can do is be aware of it. Like I said, like I'm quite aware that I could have delved into the depression, the the unmotivation, all of that, but I've just pushed through. I just don't even give it a word. (laughs) I'm just like... Oh, like, and I I was conscious yesterday. I'm like, oh, like, you know, but I didn't even label. I didn't say, oh, I'm so tired or I'm driving home with a day from our friends yesterday. I'm like, oh, I'm so tired. Like, I didn't even say it. I was just like, I need to go to bed at 7.30 tonight. I need a good night's sleep. (laughs) Do you know? Like, I need that self-care. It's like restoring, yeah? And I, you know, you, you, you guys saw a photo that I posted yesterday. We went and stopped in at the water, like away from the wind. <laughs> Today's has been cyclonic winds here for months. I'm like, just some, just some calm out of the wind. So we did it. Point cut right. I remembered. There's a place without wind. <laughs> it's protected. Um, so it's like. Um, you know, and I just like absorbed the sun and the water and nature and just was gentle, right? And, and I was very conscious. And again, I teach this stuff in trust intuition. So it's like, okay, I just don't even label that I'm tired anymore. Like I used to do it all the time and it used to just pull me down, right? Our words are so, so powerful. And when we can just be aware that, you know, and, and this is the other part of it, right? That this depression, the darkness, the sadness and all of that, is a space to be in and then the joy and getting stuff done and you know having fun and having energy is also a space to be in and this used to really shit me to tears when people say it's a choice to be in that space and I'll be like but you don't understand what's going on for me but you don't understand right I used to be that person. Like, I totally get it. And this is why I can speak to this. Um, verbal detoxing. Yeah, I'm seeing these comments. Sorry. Verbal detoxing. Yes, yes. Um, hey, um, Kylie. Welcome, welcome. So, yeah, and it is that. Um, so, and I'm not like... Um, Linda, I'm not like having a go. You please understand that, you know, like you're saying your depression, you're really getting rid of it, blah, blah. So the other thing I just want to say, you know, briefly about um, uh, depression, especially depression, is it's usually when we're like, you know, like depression, uh, I'm really, you know, connected obviously with the chakras and depression's really strong in the crown chakra. So 
when, um, like I teach the trackers, I come down, right? I've always said that to you guys. I start from the top and we come down. So when we open to spirit and we're like, we open up, I'm like, all these new ideas. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. Like our crown is opened, right? And then we get all these amazing ideas. And if we don't start implementing those ideas or even just writing them down and getting them out of our head, then, you know, like it kind of blocks up, right? Because it's like all these ideas are trying to pour into your body and, and then it's like, because you're not getting them out, even just with pens or, you know, writing stuff down um, or your amazing ideas that you've been getting, it's like, it gets clogged up. It's like so much more wants to come in and it can't because it's kind of, it's full here, if that makes sense. So it's almost like it, it's not that it closes down, but it, it gets depressed. It's like you push, you know, like depression is like pressing down your your essence there we go depressed essence oh my goodness I was like what is that word coming through depression is depressing your essence down right now that's different hey Dorothea than the energy fully coming down and giving birth right so there's kind of like a, a block there right so um yeah I put all of those posties and stuck them on my wall it was just too much for me to carry in your head yeah exactly like um and i i share this i probably should do an actual live stream in the group but you know like i've got well i only brought one with me t just in this um live stream because i'm like i must take my book so you know like i've got my diary you know that i you know keep track of all um my things like i know some people do it online like on their you know technology but i prefer to write in my diary and then I've got um, my journal as well. And then I've also got this one as well. And this is for all the, um, you know, blog ideas I get, live stream ideas I get, um, you know, courses ideas that I get. Like there's so many. And I used to have a zillion post-it notes everywhere. And I'm like, this is getting out of control. Like my desk was just covered in post-it notes. And so I'm like, right, I need another book. So I've got another book and I've kind of segregated it into live stream topics, blogs, you know, course ideas. And I'm just writing them down in there. So it's like it doesn't clog up and it doesn't, you know, it's like you, you do, you get full, right? So it's like you must keep that flow going. So it was like when I posted uh, yesterday and I was like, you know, feeling depressed, anxious, stuck, tired, blah, blah, blah. Like what are you, what are you not doing that you know you need to be doing every single day, okay? And as I said before, like this is the thing where like I used to be that person of like, you don't understand how hard it is for me, Hannah. You don't understand what's going on in my life. This is going on and this is going on. And it's just like, oh my God, you just don't get it, Hannah. Like, well, I'd be speaking to someone else, right? Well, that's how I'd be bitching about it. I'm like, they just don't understand what my life is like, right? Like I just, you know, and at the time I was like, well, I just needed a bit of compassion, you know? So like, I'm not having a go at you guys. Please know that I'm, I'm trusting that you know where I'm coming from when I'm sharing this. And I am sharing it in a way to empower you because I used to be like that, okay? Now, when you said before, Linda, I'm not sure if you're still here. I hope you're still here because I'm still talking to you as well as everyone else. When you said, um, like, usually really good at getting rid of it, like your depression and shifting it and all that sort of thing, like, that's freaking awesome to hear. I love hearing that, that you recognize it and you do something about it and shifting it because it is something that you can shift, um, you know, and again, it's like going through the physical, um, yeah, you're still here. Going through the physical, um, you know, kind of checklist, you know, food, diet, sleep, water, you know, all of that. Speaking of, I grabbed this out before and I haven't had a drink yet because I've been dogging. So in all of that, I do want to speak about the cosmic shifts of going on right now. And it's almost like, um, it's almost like, of what I'm what I'm trying to say is like there's a there's an external and then there's an internal right and you guys always hear me talk about this and it is that sense of um, you know what comes first the chicken or the egg well we don't really know right but when we are doing the inner work it shifts our external reality so like you said Linda it's like you know I recognize you know when I sense a depression and I do something about it yet yeah, this time it's not freaking going away, right? And, you know, there's been a lot of people processing a lot of things at the moment. There's been a lot of people up-leveling to the next level. Uh, you know, like, obviously, you guys that follow me here and are really stepping up, like, I see you guys stepping up. And what's it, what is it, what it is doing, right, is, like, 
when you learn something new, okay, I always share this too, when you learn something new, so I'm saying like I always share this stuff because you guys might get sick of me talking about this stuff, but I'm trusting that, you know, you need to, this is helping. So it's like we learn something new. We're like, wow, this is amazing. And we open our crown because there's all these new ideas flooding in. We're like, yeah, and we start implementing them in our life. And then we're like, oh my God, because what's happening, like overwhelm, is when all those brain neuro pathways start going, start changing because you're learning something new, all that new light and energy and ideas are flooded in your life and you're like, and then overwhelm kicks in and you're like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. And it like paralyzes you, right? Because this is what I said before. It's like um, you get to a point where all this, um, like especially when you're doing all this like new ideas and it's like, there's almost like too much to do because what's happening is your, your brain neuro pathways are changing and you're trying to work out how the new stuff fits with the old stuff and how you integrate it and then how you, you know, you've still got your old life and, but I've got to do these new things and you have started implementing the new things and because you have, it started to change your internal dialogue, how you speak to yourself, how you relate to yourself, how you relate to other people, um, what needs to change in your life, physical exercise, career, people, you know, the whole works, right? So you just kind of like almost come into a like, oh my God, this is so amazing and then it comes in and then you're like, whoa because you're just going well how the how how do these two meet right how it's almost like the two waves of the ocean coming up yeah um yes you're paralyzed by all the new information and ideas and you you had to pass out and you took a three-hour nap you feel better today yeah see like i mean i was tired yesterday right i I admit that you know but i I also know that i had a, a midnight then you know work night the night before and you know I had to get up well I didn't get up early I got up and I went to the gym and I still did all my self-care things but I wasn't going to just go oh I'm so tired but I did you know as self-care I was like cool I need to go to um, bed at 7 30 and the thing with you know like the cosmic shifts and all of that it's like you know it comes in waves so it is like you know it is like the ocean and there'll be you know like um you know, what am I talking about? Like when the swell, like so the the set of the waves come in, so there'll be like, you know, seven or eight waves in one bit and then it's called a lull where there's not many waves and then the next set comes in and then there's, you know, seven or eight big waves coming in and then they kind of disappear and then there's a lull, right? It And the energy and the cosmic shifts and the waves of light are coming in like that. So right now in the past two to three weeks, um, you know, maybe even four weeks, it has been, we're in the middle of a set right now, okay? And so it's like, and then soon it'll be like, oh, okay, cool, and you'll just start to get your feet back on and you'll start to move and do all your things again. And then the next set will come in, right? And this is where I always talk about as well, riding the waves, yeah? It's like riding riding the spiritual waves, riding the energetic waves that are going on and transforming us. And as I said, you know, like I used to get pulled down and pulled down for weeks or months. Look at my hair's really annoying me. Can you see I'm like trying to, I can see it on the live stream because it's like my cocky feathers. <laughs> um, the wind is blowing at my hair. <laughs> so <laughs> I can just see it. Okay, if I like push it down like this, then those little bit won't come up. <laughs> Um, yeah, and take a nap, exactly, you know, and that's self-care and that's riding the waves, right? It, it is exactly riding the waves. It's like, okay, like I'm just like so tired right now and I need to lie down. And as I said before, like, you know, um, sleep is like the most powerful healer. Like if I'm really busy, but I'm really tired in, in all of that, it's like, okay, I'm like, okay, well, sleep's important. This is part of my schedule in my day is like I set a timer for 30 minutes so I can just lie down and just kind of switch off and just take that rest. And, and I also, and the other important key to note is when you actually set a timer for something like that. So if you set, you know, 30 minutes or, um, there's another thing I'm wanting to talk about. Yeah, sure. Sure. Aurora. Um, and you might have got what you already need too, Aura. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, when you actually set a timer for like 30 minutes, it actually, I don't know what the words it is or what the psychology is behind it, but it actually makes you get what done in what you need to, like it makes you get done in the time frame of what you need to get done. Like it's a really, really powerful mechanism and maybe it's a deadline, maybe it's a, um, 
don't know what they call it but when you actually set a timer like that it's like something shifts in or psychologically and you actually do it so when I set a timer for that 30 minutes just to have a 30 minute nap like I will go pretty deep pretty quickly like you know I'll either definitely go to sleep or it'll just be a really deep power nap or almost meditative state where you just drop so deep into it um, really quickly because I'm like right cool got 30 minutes to chill out gone <laughs> right um, hey Carrie welcome so so yeah so I just wanted to share that so I'm wondering what else I need to share does anyone have anything else I need to share I'm wondering if that helps you so the thing is as well like learning something new okay so the message that I'm getting to is like when we're learning something new oh yeah and that's what I was saying before that I've stepped up in my business in my life, in my personal development, in what I'm attracting in my life, in what I'm drawing in, in what I'm creating and aligning to. And in that comes the deep internal work. So we shift, we open and all these new ideas, new energy, um, light, all of that floods in. Yeah. And you know, as you guys know, and if you don't, um, I have a full um, YouTube video I think it might be about an hour or so long it's quite long as well but uh, going through the chakras and why I teach coming down so if you haven't watched that please send me a message and say Hannah can you send me the YouTube link for the chakras I want to learn about it um, because there's a there's a reason that I always teach about coming down because it's about grounding in the light into our body like for eons we've been up there reaching up to heaven and as we all know heaven's not up there heaven is here we are heaven heaven earth like this is this reflection right so the point I'm saying is that when we open and we have all these new ideas and they come in, we then hit the third eye. So this is where, sure thing, Carrie, this is where we see, you know, like all the relationship dynamics. We see the truth of the situation and we're like, oh, this is where the old life and new life comes together. And, you know, as I've been talking about it and it's like this, oh, what do we do now? It's like, this was so amazing, but my old life and how does it work and how does it fit? And like, it's like, oh, this is too much, right? Because we're seeing the reality and we're like, I don't know what to do. We don't know the next steps, yeah? Um, it doesn't matter that you came late. You came at the perfect time, Gary. Um, so then it's like, you know, grounding it in. Like the ear chakras are connected to your heart and connected to the base chakra. And when we can actually listen for our next step, like we're seeing all this stuff and we're like, oh my God, I don't know what to do about this. And then we're like, oh, but Hannah says to do this and this and we should be doing this every day. And I don't know how to do that and fit it in with my normal life. And I don't know how to take the next step. So I'm just like, I don't know, right? Because we're, you know, and this is about being open. The ear chakra is about being open and listening to our next step. So it might be um, taking a nap, listening to what your next step is. What is the next step, right? And the listening, as I said, like the ears, the heart and the base are interconnected. Your, your heart chakra is what you feel like doing. Now, I've spoken about this before, what you feel like doing and discipline are two different things, but let's just keep it simple. So it's like intuitively, your heart is giving you the next step, yeah? And it's like getting out of your own way, right? And living your truth about what your heart is telling you to do. And this is where the trust comes in. So the base chakra is all about trust and actioning the physical world, your physical body and moving that, uh, giving birth to the ideas. So when you, you know, come into this next step and you're like, oh yeah, I do feel like I need to take a nap. And, you know, in that self-care, okay, because the other thing too, there's so many factors, right? There's all these intricate, you know, things that are all playing out at the same time, right? So when we open up and all these new ideas, light energy floods in, oh, Hannah said to do this, oh, I'm supposed to be doing this, <laughs> right? What's also happening is your vibration is shifting. When, when somebody opens their crown chakra and they are open-minded to new ideas about their life and they're not closed-minded and structured and like it's like stuck in a routine and like you're closed, right? We all know the difference between a closed-minded person and an open-minded person, right? So an open-minded person is open to new ideas and what that happens is that the, the energy and the vibration of that person is constantly changing because they're constantly open to new ideas. They're not stuck. They don't get stagnant. They don't get stuck. So if you feel like you're stuck, if you feel like you're in depression, if you feel like you're, uh, you can't shift it, okay, I want you to reframe those words and say, oh, I must be shifting to a really high level vibration very quickly with all these new ideas and everything that you've been implementing. And I want to ask you this too, like if you have been feeling, you know, everything that I shared and why you're on this live stream listening to me, 
I want to ask you that for the past week, month, maybe three or six months, have you been implementing or starting to implement or know that the ideas that you're hearing me talk about are the right thing that you need to do? Give me a yes or some love hearts if like you're like, well, yeah, for the past week, month, six months, like maybe even year even, you're like, yeah, I know I need to be doing this stuff and I kind of come into this thing. I, I'm going to wait because I know there's a bit of a, a lag or a delay. So I want to yeah, give me some love hearts or just say, yes, this is definitely, you know, you have been implementing or knowing you need to implement new things or making changes in your life, right? Hey, Cody. Because if you have then it is that thing where you are shifting your energetic vibration. Yes, yes, see, everyone's saying yes, yes. Yes, you must be shifting. Yes, I love that confirmation for you, Olivia. You're already doing it, I love that, I love that. You're so in tune, woman. <laughs> True, that is why you're in trust intuition. <laughs> and everyone else, there's a lot of you actually here on this live stream. Yeah, you've been making big changes, exactly. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> so if you have been, yes, you too, Kylie. When you hit this, there's several factors that I want you to become aware of, okay? One is that we are ascending, the earth's ascending, or I feel like the earth is already there and we're catching up physically, actually. Um, you know, like we're also moving like in our the planet Earth and our solar system and our galaxy are also moving through space. So like we're shifting through all these energy spaces galactically and cosmically. We're also in Mercury retrograde right now, which I forgot. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yes, that's right. Um, so in the past, I think we're in the middle of it. We're just past the middle of it. Mercury is retrograde for three weeks. So that's when the planet goes backwards. And that's also a time when we are like reassessing everything, right? If you think about a, a forward moving planet, so it's doing its normal spin. And then, you know, I don't think it does, but it looks like it does to us or something. Anyway, so the planet is spinning backwards, right? For three, three weeks. And then I always say three, like a week either side of that three weeks period. So five weeks in total. So be mindful that five weeks, so the past three weeks, have been this, like what happens when Mercury retrogrades is like it, um, so things from our past come up. So past relationships, um, old flames that you might not have heard from for a long time, old patterns, old belief systems, old feelings, uh, you know, anything. And, and then, oh, where's, where's my cocky feather? I'm going to remember that next time. I just need like a, a little clip or a little bit <laughs> something there. Um, I, sorry, I'm just noticing my cook. <laughs> um, so when, you know, like anything that needs reassessing. So, you know, I used to look at Mercury Retrograde like, oh, it's bad and don't make any decisions and don't make any, like don't sign any contracts. And I just think that's a load of hogwash. Ultimately, it's like be more mindful of the details, um, you know, but for me, like the Mercury going backwards, it's a reassessing. <laughs> yeah, old shit. Yeah, it's a reassessing of you know what's been going on so when the planet starts moving forward you'll be like ah oh, cool yes of course this was right all along right but what comes up in this thing is it might feel like sabotage it might feel like depression it might feel like you're stuck right and if you can be mindful like okay i'm shifting and it's almost like a, a reflection time if you may almost like the dark moon it is a time when we're really like being mindful of okay oh this is an old pattern oh this is an old feeling oh this is this right and it's not that um like we buy into and like oh we're stuck and i'm I, why can't i shift through this and i'm bad and all of that sort of thing you've been dealing with past pain issues yeah exactly so anything that's old will start you know coming back up and you know in this sense of what i've found like i said like the most powerful thing is not to not for me to label it anymore. I'm just focusing. Yeah, shifting and cleansing. It's almost like, you know, when you, it's the same thing. So the message I just got is like, you know, say your car's dirty and you have to clean your car out. Well, when you pull everything out of the car and you're cleaning out rubbish, there's something, like there's stuff everywhere, right? Or you're cleaning out a cupboard in your house. It's like, you have to pull everything out and make a great mess to have a look at what's going on, what's going and staying to then put it back in neatly, right? And you chuck some things out. This is what happens in the Mercury retrogrades. It's like all your emotions 
expressions, old patterns, old X's, old flames might, you know, text you or whatever like that. And it's kind of like, oh, and I notice more and more that the more I focus on what I want, the more I want, um, you know, like I don't give those that, that space labels and I'm just focusing on like oh yes I need to go outdoors and I need to connect with nature right now and I just need to sit down and or maybe I need to take my dogs for a run or you know like I'm focusing on what I need to do to counteract that rather than going I'm so tired and I feel depressed and I'm why can't I shift this you know like I used to be like that (laughs) so um yeah great analogy so I hope that helps you a bit Linda like it just feels like you know like it's not that you're not doing everything that you need to be doing. Oh, and when you said, you know, the other things around, um, you know, like those things feel like a drain and, you know, all of that. The other thing is, and exactly what I say on the dark moon, it's like, you know, if something, so with the moon cycles, like we have just had the full moon, it's brought everything to light. The moon, full moon showing us, you know, shining its light on everything we need to see. And then, you know, with the new moon, the dark moon, it's so before the new moon is the dark moon okay and that dark moon is the same as mercury retrograde it's a like a reassessing a restructuring what needs to change what needs to go what needs to stay what needs to be restructured okay and i noticed that you know this um you know period of time for me has been about restructuring and i guess that that's the the power in it of like rather than like going oh my god it's like i'm stuck in like this or i'm feeling this again or i'm so tired why am i so tired i thought i've been doing everything i'm supposed to be doing um it's like okay well if you are tired and you are you know you have been doing everything what actually needs to change? What do you need to restructure in your life moving forward now? Okay. If you are feeling overwhelmed and you're wondering, you know, how to merge your two lives together or it feels too much, what can you simplify? What can you simply say no to? Where do you need stronger self-care boundaries? What, what self-care changes do you need to make? Do you need to make dietary changes so that your energy levels are higher so that you can, you know, run at the speed that you want to run um, or have that electric charge? Like I'm getting so weird. I'm getting the <laughs> analogy of like you know um (laughs) okay so it's like you know powering up it's like what food source is going to give you the most energy and power do you need to do a detox you know like all that sort of thing so i wouldn't be looking at, at it as a bad thing and when we do we 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 spiral down into that negative energy around it right well, we create more negativity and stuff rather than just going, okay, I need to get outside and <laughs> you need a pocket, Hannah. Yeah, well, I am um, offering one-on-one sessions at the moment. So my six-week package is like me in your pocket. <laughs> you get private text access to me um, via WhatsApp or Voxer. And so this is like unlimited of me in your pocket, right? Every single day, uh, you know, like for six weeks straight. Plus, we've got one-hour sessions for six weeks. So um, once a week, I will be getting on phone or Skype with you. And we, like, nothing is off limits. You know, whether we're talking about how amazing the energy is and what you've shifted into or whether there's some deep healing that we need to drop into. Like, I am there. And then I'm also there in your pocket, (laughs) basically. So with, you know, um, on your phone, I mean, (laughs) I'm saying in your pocket, uh, you know, and you can just, you know, I'm, I'm there, right? So, and then I'm responding to you um, more than that. <laughs> you thought about a pocket, Hannah, two minutes before you said. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, thanks, Olivia. Yeah, these analogies just come straight from spirit. And I feel like um, Archangel Raziel is such a, um, like a, he's a real strong spirit guide for me and has been for quite some time now. Um, and Archangel Raziel is like the, the archangel who takes that spiritual understanding and brings it into reality so that we can understand it. And I feel like that that's my, like, that's what I do. Like, it's why my business name is called Reality Awareness. You know, it's like becoming aware of your reality and how we, you know, bring merge spiritual and like physical together, right? Um, My daughter is the luckiest kid ever. (laughs) Yeah, I love me, little girl. so yeah so is there anything else like i know there's a couple of you still here linda i hope that helps you a bit there um i feel like there is something i want us to say just let me know if there's anything else you want me to share about i was going to share more about my personal kind of shifts and everything like that um 
if that one-on-one -on -one pocket hana <laughs> the six-week package i do have available um you know send me a private message if you want more information about that because when you're taking the first three clients and then the investment will um move up it's like the investment price will go up after those three so it's kind of like the first in the first three and then the price is going up so send me a message if you want to start that we can start that asap um, as soon as you sign up, you've got me in your pocket <laughs> to let out all your thoughts and feelings and for me to intuitively download um, and help guide you over the next six weeks one on one. So as I said, that's like only for the first three and then the investment price is going up. So please send me a message if you want more information about that and to book in. Um, you will know in your soul, it's like a hell yes, Hannah, let's friggin' do this. Um, and I guess that's part of my, you know, internal shift. If you want me to share a little bit about that is, you know, like I have been quiet and for the first time, well, not the first time, probably about the third or fourth time now, it is um, in that sense of, um, you know, like I have been, as I said, you know, like I go I go quiet sometimes, like, you know, I'll be posting all the time and I really do try and post consistently, like, you know, like it is one of my core, like wanting to support and being there and sharing cosmic shifts and stuff. When I am quiet on social media, you'll be like, oh, she's processing, cool, I'm waiting for her to share what's going on. Um, Will I do a live stream in future on self-care food-wise? Yeah, do you know what? My next course that is about to bubble out of me is on extreme self-care and self-love. Um, I'm not sure the details of that, but I know around the end of April that will be coming out too. Um, so yeah, it'll be in, our, in that definitely. Um, so, and I have done a few um, live streams in the group, in my private free group as well, um, in Reality Awareness group. I did that a while ago on food. And I do have um, some stuff on my food page as well, my website. If you go to realityawareness.com um, forward slash food, there is um, some insight there too. So if you haven't seen that, you can go and check that out too on my website. It's realityawareness.com forward slash food. So yeah. So I do a lot. I do like every topic. <laughs> Uh, you know, and there is a method to my madness in that, definitely. And, you know, and a big part of the restructuring is that I have been, you know, I'm like, wow, I've got so much content. Now I need to like organize it. <laughs> like the past 18 months, two years, it's just been like create, create, create. And now I'm like, wow, I need to like put this in because like I do have so much, but it's like, I know where it is everywhere. But if you guys, you know, need it, it's kind of like you don't know where to find it. It's like, you know, like, so I'm, I'm setting it all up and restructuring. It's part of my restructure. Um, the other part is that I've just signed up for a 12-month mentor program um, with a very high-level mentor and I'm freaking excited about it because it's, I've had my eye on it for quite some time <laughs> and I've really just stepped up. So part of my process has been in restructuring but also getting that, you know, support in taking me to my next level and this is the thing, like, there's only so much we can do on our own. Like it's amazing and like everything I teach in Trust Your Intuition, like you can, if you actually implement what I tell you to do and what I like advice that I give, like you will shift exponentially, right? And as you guys know, like you come on this live stream, you're like, oh, that makes sense, Hannah, of course, right? Like imagine working one-on-one -on -one with me <laughs> and having that insight like all the time and how fast and quick you shift exponentially. It's like fully next level, right? Um, my book should have chapters, vinyls, icebergs. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah, that's, that's cool. Thanks for those ideas. <laughs> love that. Love that. So, um, so yeah, and that's been part of my huge structure and my, like my internal shift and like, you know, just having that next level support is just like taking me obviously to a whole new level, like instantly. And I, and I will tell you, just like, you'll know, like if you signed up for trust intuition or life purpose mentorship, like you have instant shifts and it's because we are all energetic beings. And when you tap into a certain frequency of people that are around you, you instantly shift by osmosis. And this is a big part of, you know, when I say about your life purpose and who you are and how you help people, it's like your energy shifts people without you doing or saying a word like this is what it is and when you actually commit and step up to join either you know whatever group you're called to do you instantly shift and you expand because whatever you're hanging around most of the time is like biosmosis shifting you right um 
Yeah, I mean, like, I've always had mentors in the past. Like, I see, um, you know, Lois, like, she's my heart space holding, you know, emotional mentor that, like, just fully, like, you know, has shifted me so much, especially um, through my, like, codependent relationships. Like, in the past, I don't know, three years, like, I've been seeing Lois regularly. Like, I see her once a month. That's, like, you know, that always happens. Like, And I really do believe that anybody working with helping other people need to be seeing mentors. Like, it's, like kind of standard like it needs to happen whether it's a counselor whether it's you know like through your doctor and it's a counselor through your doctor you know like or you know like I see um my like I've seen Lois like I don't know how many sessions I've had with her in the past three years definitely been more than once a month but she is really what helped me shift into like full heart space consciousness you know over the years I've had many mentors um you know consistently to you know work through the big stuff because there is only so much we can do on our own so, you know, but um, business wise, like, you know, I've been really like had my eye on a couple of um, mentors that I want to work with. And I just like fully took the leap of faith and committed um, uh, Friday. What's today? Sunday. Yeah. So it's just like shifted. Um, but I had it in my mind for a couple of weeks now and it was just timing and trust and leaping of faith, leap of, leaping of faith. So it is in that space, um, you know, and I wouldn't be at this level of consciousness. I wouldn't be at this level of being able to hold space. I wouldn't be at this level intuitively um, if I wasn't consistently doing my own work and getting mentor support as well because it's just like it is exactly what I said like you guys jump on my live stream or you read my blogs and you're like oh that makes so much sense now that you just made me understand what's going on for me right so you know when you're working with you know someone one-on-one um yeah it makes it makes a big difference having that you know like you, you shift exponentially like if you're feeling stuck and you're doing everything and with everything that i just explained it's like yes you can shift and you can move but with that mentor you just it takes you to a ne- next level like very fast and rapidly so if you're wanting that fast change um, and you're really wanting to move through the stuff you know it's like get a mentor so my six weeks package is exactly that and it is having me in your pocket um so you can send me um can send me a message um private message for all the details about six week package like i said you know after the first three book in then that investment price will be going up so it's kind of first in first serve with that um you know and and i just want to share too like i knew that i was about to shift next level i knew this like i i could feel it coming it's always been in the plan right it's always been there And, you know, before, and this is kind of another thing on the, um, you know, the cosmic stuff going on. And if you're feeling in that stuckness or that depression or that, you know, that sense of, you know, stuff, right? And with everything that I've already spoken about, opening ideas, you know, new vibration, shifting, plus the cosmic, you know, we're all doing that. Um, Plus your focus is your most powerful aspect and how you can really shift fast as well. um, And not even give that stuff one more ounce of your energy or words in that. It's like when you are able to, um, you know, like when you know that you're about to take a leap, when you know you're about to shift, when you know, right, that it's like next level time and you're about to commit to that, stuff will come up. And this is where people, it's like, oh, this is a sabotage. I'm being sabotaged. I'm sabotaging myself, right? Yeah. If you buy into it, if you let it pull you down, and I always talk about this, you know, it's, it's, it's base chakra consciousness. It's life purpose stuff right? When you are about to step onto a a new direction or something that you just know in your heart you damn well have to do, it's like inevitable and it's just like, well, you have to do this. Everything comes up that people call sabotage and it's only sabotage if you let it pull you down and back into your old ways and you never go back to this space, yeah? Now, you do get faster and faster at noticing it, at picking it up, at trusting yourself rather than buying into the stories and pulling yourself down and all of that jazz, right? And what it is, is it's the same thing. And I I shared, it's like the iceberg analogy that I shared, right? It's that sense of like, okay, so you're becoming more aware and more conscious and you're moving along your path and your vibration is rising, right? So you're, you're, you're inhaling, is the word I just got, you're inhaling a new vibration into your cells, into your DNA, into your consciousness, yeah? And, and your being, right? Into your being. And so when you're doing that, I know I always say this, and it's a real, if you can get out of your head with this and feel it in the cells of your being, when your cells and your physical vibration is changing because of your energetics, 
vibration is changing because of your thought patterns and the new things that you're implementing, you're raising your vibration. So whatever is not in alignment with your vibration anymore in your body must come up and out. So the, the consciousness like or the, the subconscious stuff that is no longer in alignment with, you know, like your higher vibration that you've been creating through your whole body. And it's like, well, this doesn't fit here anymore. It's like coming up, like floating to the top almost. And it's like, you know, this needs to be dealt with. Otherwise, this is the sabotage that will pull you down and pull you back off path and you kind of go unconscious again, right? But when you realize it's just like, oh, this is just some more unconscious stuff coming up to be conscious of now, which is now conscious already because you become conscious of it, right? The instant you become conscious of something, it's now conscious, right? And it's either like deal with it with a mentor or like the tools I teach and trust your intuition, whether it's shadow work or the tools in module four. And it's like being able to move through that, right? And transform it, which is again the iceberg analogy that I was talking about the other day. And it's like, you know, then it, it goes back into this whole water and becomes back into the wholeness integrating rather then it's sitting there as a big log that keeps bumping into you going, hey, you're going to wake up now. And that's when we get physically sick too, right? It's just trying to wake you up, right? Trying to integrate, trying to gain the lesson. And, and the quickest thing is like just going, okay, what did I learn from this? What is the gift in this awareness rather than going, oh, this shit happened in my life. And you have no idea what is going on in my life, Hannah. You have no idea what I've been through. Like, I know. <laughs> I've been through some shit too, right? And I've learned to overcome that. And that is where your power is. It's like, do you stay in the story of the log bumping into you? Or do you go, okay, what was the gift and the lesson? Maybe you need, do need to do a little, more, little bit more deeper work or healing, which is my gift to you in the one-on-one mentoring. Or if you work through it yourself, in trusted intuition, that is the gift there. And then it, you know, it disintegrates. It comes back into the wholeness, right? So... You just got confirmation of something that's huge and for some reason I couldn't see it till now. Wow, yeah, see exactly, right? You guys listen to me on live stream, you have these instant realizations, right? So that's, you know, when we work one-on-one, this is the power, uh, you know, like totally amplified exponentially. <laughs> so that is like, you know, powerful key there for that. Um, you know, and part of the restructuring, you know, that I will be doing, well, I'm already implementing and doing as, you know, you've, you've seen me stopping the psychic readings and, you know, that is because I want to work, you know, more deep in like in person, like me in your pocket talking to you, <laughs> um, you know, like for six weeks straight so that we can really shift this out because I really notice, you know, and it's not everybody, but, you know, I, I give a psychic reading. It's awesome. You know, you get that amazing awareness and you're like wow yes that's what it is and if you actually don't do the work that I actually tell you to in that reading as well well then you, you're gonna stay just in that you know that's when we go into the overwhelm because we're like oh this is like you become aware of it now but you also need the tools and if you actually don't implement the tools right and the the this, 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 is, this is the doing part right it's like you know bringing that into your body is this base tracker and you take action on that so um, so uh, yeah, I was getting sidetracked there. So sharing my own, you know, story stuff, it's like I knew and I could feel it coming from even, um, well, it would have been end of February. So it's like over a month ago now, like I could feel the internal shifts. I could feel that everything that I've been working on for the past 18 months, like in the past 12 months, like in 2017 last year, I was very, very consistent with everything that I was doing. And, you know, I know that that shifted me and I was like, wow, and this is exactly what I'm talking about, right? It's like, you know, what I've been doing for the past 18 months and especially last year has shifted me vibrationally. And then the past, you know, over Christmas with all that family stuff that happened on my road trip, it's kind of like that was that now coming up to the surface. And I was like, wow, I actually had to deal with that because it's not in my new vibration anymore. Like it's, it can't sit there, right? So that I don't love my family. It's not that I'll never speak to them again. Like it's not like that, but it's just vibrationally in my body. Like I've shifted or um, I don't know what the word is. It's not cut the... the the energetic ties, but it kind of is, right? To try and kind of explain it. But it's like, I still love them. I still have a relationship with them. But it's not that I'm energetically 
entwined, if that makes sense. Like on a, you know, if we're looking at the spider web analogy, which hello, the golden orbs are everywhere at the moment, I opposed to the golden orb. And zircon is the liquid crystal that's connected to these, um, to spider, right? And that's the, um, the spider web analogy that I speak of is like, you know, when we are doing our personal work and that, you know, we've got our spider web here, we're the spider. So we're doing our personal development work, we're doing all the work and like we rise, right? So our vibration gets higher. And, and our spider web comes with us, I should do it this way, but what happens is the threads that, you know, the spider web is connected to could be friends, family, careers, places, all of that. Um, like as your vibration is rising, so is your spider web, but these like are still connected, right? So to that energetic vibration of what that part of your life represents, right? And when you rise, it's like that gets stretchier and stretchier, like, and then it will either ping and snap right all those people will go oh and they feel an awakening and they shift naturally too and rise with you energetically yeah but most of the time depending most of the people don't right and that's why when you awaken and you go through all these changes in your life a lot of people change you know like people don't stay in your life you know if you are someone who has a, a very open mind and does a lot of personal development work you'll probably find that like you know a lot of the most successful people don't have a lot of friends right or the most like highly creative people don't have a lot of friends because we're very sensitive to energy and it's not that we don't have friends but who we interact with on a very, you know, daily day basis is not a lot of people. And I'm 100% fine with not having many friends because I've got stuff to do, right? Like I'm very conscious of where I'm going, where I'm stepping up to, where I'm moving to. But it's not that I don't love my friends. It's not that I don't love my family, yeah? It's just that I'm just doing my thing right now. You either come with me or you don't. And that's fine wherever you are, right? Um, so... So I guess like for me, what, you know, came up over Christmas was exactly that, right? Um, if you guys saw my story on my road trip travels and all of that jazz. And then, you know, like in the past, um, so I think I shared maybe, oh, that's what it was, like after February, March was when I shared that blog, if you guys saw um, around my relationships and how I realized that I hadn't, you know, um, had a relationship for... So the end of November, so it was like three months and I hadn't even had sex, I haven't even touched myself, right? I haven't done any of that. It wasn't intentional. It wasn't like, I'm going to go, what is it, celibate or something and I'm not having sex, I'm not having a relationship. It wasn't, didn't even, it wasn't even, I didn't even state it almost. It was just like, it just happened because I was wet on my road trip, I was dealing with my, you know, working my business. I was just, I was just like, that's what I was doing, right? And I don't feel like I've shut down my base. I don't feel like it's not that. It's just like I'm like cleansing deeply. And when I realized um, it was probably just two weeks over the three-month mark that I realized, I was like, wow. Like, you know, and they say like three days, three weeks, three months, three years is like the, you know, breaking addiction stuff. And that's when I, you know, realized I'm like, wow, I actually haven't had a break in relationships or even like, you know, sexually interacting with men for quite like, I don't know that I've ever had a really long break in between that, apart from when I had a day and stuff, right? So it was like a really big healing, you know, that naturally happened just by me focusing on my purpose, just by me trusting my intuition and following the next steps that I need to take in my life. This deep healing is coming up naturally. So when you are moving into something that feels right, even though if you don't, doesn't make logical sense and you're trusting your intuition and you're doing all these amazing new things, when you naturally do that, you're naturally going to heal whatever's blocking you. Yeah, it, it'll come up. Trust that it will come up. Trust that, um, you know, something that's been sunk under the water for quite some time will naturally rise when it's ready to be shifted out, healed and integrated, right? It's, it's naturally what happens when you raise your vibration. So, um, what was I going to say to that? Yeah, and so, you know, I realized in that, you know, three and a half months and I had that realization, I shared my blog around, you know, not having sex and not doing all that. And I was just like, wow, in that blog, I realized, I was like, wow, I just have been missing my mom. You know, it was a really big realization that, you know, like my parents separated when I think I was about five, I went to other sides of the country, hence my flying to see my dad, you know, all the time school holidays, which I love, like I don't regret any of it. But the point I'm saying is that, you know, like my mom had my brother when I was five, then she had another two siblings, she remarried. I feel like I didn't have time with mum. And that's what I was missing. 
I was like, wow, this entire time I've just been missing time with mum. I just miss my mum. I just want time with mum, right? So people are like, oh, is she moving to Perth? I'm like, I don't know, am I? <laughs> I know I'm moving soon. Where is the big question? Although I kind of know where. Um, getting sidetracked. Stay on point, Hannah. And I don't want it to rain right now. Okay, so this, like, what I've been processing, like, just this past week, or past two weeks it's been, is um, stuff around my dad, right? So last month it was mum, and then still haven't been in relationship, you know, almost like, you know, I've, I've got to kind of focus before I start dating, like, I'm conscious when I'm ready to start dating, and that's not yet, and I'm fine. I'm actually really enjoying this space and time at the moment. And um, so the past two weeks is like, I know I've been up level, like you guys have seen, I've been posting about it, I've been doing it, like that huge restructure in my business. I'm not doing psychic readings anymore. In the audio format, if you want a psychic reading, I'm still doing them, but the format is different. It's done over phone and Skype. So please send me a message if you do want details about that. Um, so it's just, yeah, changed a little bit, hence the restructure. But in that, right, it's like this sense of like, if we're looking at masculine and feminine energies which is the basis of sacred manifestation is like for the past 18 months I've just been creating 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 it's just like this flowing like just letting it all flow out it's a very creative feminine energy just like create right and um like a chaotic creation right but when we look at the masculine it's the structure that holds the creative chaos yeah and when I've just been restructuring I'm like that's very masculine right so it's kind of no surprise in the past two weeks my dad stuff has come up and you know I always say this too like whatever is being reflected to you through your clients through people you're reading for through you know people you're working with is what's going on for you and when you shift it they shift too you start attracting a different type of client different type of person different you know people and the thing I realized is like you know when my dad left right or when my parents split up I felt like I stepped into a role where I didn't feel like I've realized that I stepped into a role and everyone's like well yeah we can see that Hannah right um but it's like and like I've known it for some time but it's just it's now ready to heal properly I guess probably properly properly and so it's like I stepped into a role of managing. I stepped into a role of needing to be, I guess, in control because I felt scared about, oh, what's going on? Like, you know, it's like five-year-old is like all this changing, you know, it's like, well, what, what's this happened to my structure? What's this happened to my stability? What's this happened to my balance, right? Totally gone. So I was living with mom most of the time. So, you know, like I stepped into the role of managing, making sure that everyone is okay, you know, that people please a role, you know, like, and having that sense that I need to take care of everybody um, so you know and that's played out for my entire life so I can see that you know in my intimate relationships playing out I can see you know all of that so you know when I had the kinesiology session with amazing amazing kinesiologists you know so I, and when you said Carrie is like it's good that I've got a mentor I'm like I'm seeing people all the time like I've got my kinesiologist I've got Lois she's an amazing heart space holder and shifts like shifts so much stuff in one session um, and then, yeah, I saw and saw Dara, my kinesiologist, and, you know, really tapped into that, you know, um, like not feeling loved, right? And it's crazy, right? But at its core, I was like, yeah, like, and, and Darren asked me, he's like, what would happen if you were loved? Or I was like, I'd be killed. It was like, straight up. <laughs> it was like, doom. And I'm like, where the fuck did that come from? Like, it's not even relevant do you know what I mean and like so we carry this stuff and you know this is where we need those kind of outside people to hold space and help us see what we're not seeing right like it's so important and I wouldn't be where I am today without you know having the individual mentor sessions so it is that you know sense if you saw my story on Friday I actually posted like my my um, process in there like it was like I am full in there and, um, you know, doing that, um, you know, like my, my coloring in process, it was just a massive flower because when I was in session with Darren, I was just like, 
just this pink like I am lovable flower came through and it was just like sitting in that vibration and I was like well this makes total sense it's like now I can just drop into that masculine and be held without feeling like I need to take care of everybody so you will see a change in how I'm helping you hence the restructure hence the following the intuition like you like I said to you guys I saw like I got that intuitive like sense of like no more psychic readings and I was like I, I, I posted and I told you guys I'm like it doesn't make logical sense for me to stop doing these psychic readings in that format like the audio recorded format but I need to trust it and look what has come up now like you know then two weeks you know two weeks of processing like not like oh I need to find out why I was told not to do psychic readings like this I was just like well okay cool there's the intuition trust that and then this has come up and I'm like oh well that makes sense now right and this is the thing of trusting your intuition and taking the steps without knowing why yeah that, that's the biggest thing is why I call tr- trust intuition <laughs> why I teach trust intuition right so so it's been a big like you know uh, you know, balance of the masculine and the feminine in my business, in my life, in who I am inside me. And, you know, at its core, this is sacred manifestation. And, you know, I held calling in your soulmate last year and I'm going to be reopening that um, at some point in the future. I can feel it. But right now I also know that, you know, going through a huge restructure, it, it's sacred manifestation. This is what it is. Calling in your soulmate is sacred manifestation it's a balance of the masculine and feminine energies it's not like oh we need to be masculine and like do this stuff like or we just need to go with the flow like it is those but there's a certain balance that comes with both of them and it's learning how to know what to do when to do what and having that real deep healing of the roles and shifting out like those patterns and the you know the the stuff that makes us go back into that hole right so um, let me know if this has helped you guys. Um, Jenny, I just see you joining live now. <laughs> I'm just about to jump off. But let me know if that, you know, if what I've shared about the cosmic shifts, about what's going on in your life, if, if that helps at all, just give me some love hearts or if you've got any other questions or something, um, please just, yeah, comment below. And I know there's a bit of a delay, so I'm going to have a drink. So as I said, I've got the one-on-one mentoring open at the moment. It's a six-week mentoring. Um, And after the first three clients, that will investment price will be going up. So it is first in, first serve. You want to get in uh, quickly because that price is going up. And that will be my standard price. So yeah, if you're wanting one-on-one support, um, me in your pocket for six weeks. Yeah, seeing some love hearts there. Um, Resonating and helpful then please send me a message uh, so you can book in or have more information about that because it is me in your pocket, six weeks, one-on-one, me having (laughs) this intuitive insight for your personal life and what's going on. Nothing is off topic, nothing is too random and um, really helping you to, um, when do we have to utilize Pocket Hunter after we purchase? Uh, Yeah, yay for replay. (laughs) Um, so after we purchase, yeah, well, it's open now, so we can start straight away, or if you need to start next week or something like that, we can do that. Um, so just, yeah, just send me a message if you want to, um, find out more about that, but it is a six week package. So, and obviously when we start is the six weeks from that starting point. So six one hour sessions, um, a week and then me in your pocket. So I don't know if you've used WhatsApp or Voxer before, but it's awesome. Um, it's just like message yeah got it awesome <laughs> so um yeah so let me know if i uh, got any other questions i'll just be hanging on waiting for a minute tracy i just seen you join so lots of lots um lots of like cosmic shifts going on and like i said like these waves too like the other kind of final point is that like i think i don't know someone well i kind of realized it myself too is like oh, there's earthquakes and there's going to be massive shifts and there's going to be all this jazz and like, you know, it's kind of like who knows what's going to happen when, right? And it's like don't buy into the fear of it. Just trust your intuition to keep guiding you with your next step and trust that you will be wherever you need to be for exactly the right moment in time, for exactly what you need to learn and do in your life. And 
you know, the other thing is like, like the awakening, the, the shift, the events, the, the speeds of light, you know, like I said, it's just that we are becoming more powerful. We are becoming more conscious. We are becoming more awake and more people waking up. And your point of power is in your focus. So like I said, I don't even label that I'm tired even more. I don't even say, oh my God, I don't have any energy or I'm so tired. Like, I don't even label it. I don't even say it anymore. I'm just like, oh, I need to sit outside and have an early night tonight, right? Yeah, so you can definitely feel that as well, Carrie. Um, so can I talk about how I'd feel intuitively a shift was coming and knowing to trust? Yeah, like I feel that, you know, it's, it's the same thing as like, you know, when you are um, re resonate with being a uh, sensitive empath, all that jazz, uh, you like you can feel when a storm's coming or if there's an earthquake. And again, this is, you know, what a teach and trust intuition. It's like having that kind of list. OK, you know, checking physical self-care. OK, sleep, da, 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 da. Okay, yeah, well, that's pretty good, actually. Okay, well, what is going on in the earthquakes? You know, and just type in earthquakes, you know, and just see where the, you know, most recent ones have been around you. Or, you know, check your weather map. It's like, oh, there's actually a storm. Oh, there's cyclones going on. Oh, no wonder I've been feeling a bit, uh, right? Because I can feel that. Um, and it's kind of like, you know, you can intuitively check that stuff. And at the same time, it's like when you walk in trust and faith, and this is what I, you know, have been saying, um, does it come with experience, those moments and reflection? Yeah, definitely. So, you know, and this is why I teach that in trust to intuition so that you kind of have this kind of, you know, as I was saying at the start, like you check your self-care. Yeah, that's pretty good. Who have I been hanging around? Have I been hanging around negative people? Have I just been out clubbing and at a bar because I might have picked up some negative, like heavy, not negative, heavy energy from those sort of places? Um, have ever been at a festival? You know, if there's a lot of people taking drugs and stuff, you know, um, there, there's a certain energy frequency attached to that as well so it's just being mindful of it it's not like oh it's bad and eh. it's just like okay yeah maybe I need to do a bit more cleansing on myself today or something um, and then it's like okay well actually that's all really fine so let me check the weather let me check what's coming you know all that and the more you do it it is that you get you know fast at doing it but what having those kind of steps and tools does is that it it makes you more aware of energies you're like, oh, that's that. Oh, that's that. And so you become mindful of that, that sense of energy that you become aware of that's what that is. So next time you feel it, you're like, oh, straight away. You ra Rather than going, oh, I need to go through my checklist and make sure. You're just like, oh, that's that. Because you know already. It's like driving a car, right? Same thing. I always talk about the car analogy, yeah? This is like the kind of overwhelming learning bit. And then you drive the car and you're like, oh, that's that energy without even thinking about it, yeah? Um, I was just going to say something else to that too. What was it? So, hey Laura. Um, can talk about how I'd feel intuitively knowing and trust. Oh yeah, so the other thing is, you know, like, like for me even, you know, and again, this is one of the tools I teach and trust the intuition. It's like, you know, becoming so aware driving on the roads, you know, like I really consider myself to be a really good driver. And it is because, you know, when I'm sitting at the traffic lights, like I'm, you know, it's so automatic these days. I don't even think about it. like I'll put the car into gear before the lights even change. Right. But it's an awesome way to build your intuitive muscles is to know when the lights are going to change before they even change. When you're driving along a highway, a normal road, you know, like sensing intuitively where the cars are behind you to the side, you know, the cars in front of you, what are they going to do before they even do it? So, you know, just driving along straight road and you just, you're, you're practicing, you're exercising your intuition. Oh, that car is going to turn left and then all of a sudden they put their indicator on and they turn left okay now what that does is it gives you the spatial awareness of what people and energies are doing around you behind you without even needing to turn around you're using your third eye you're using you know your clairsentience your feelings to just sense like all the time like you you're so aware of the energy threads of your aura of your chakras of all of that of what's going on where what when, when high you know like all of that so, and I, you know, I use that analogy of the driving in the car because I'm slowing down and braking before I even realize that the cars in front of me need to brake, 
suddenly, especially on highways and stuff, you know, it's like, I'm so in tune and so conscious, like I've been doing this for 12 years now, so, you know, but it's like, it's an awesome way that you can practice and, you know, when you're driving to really tune in and to tap into that, it's like, okay, what are the cars doing in front of me? Okay, that car's going to do that, like just just practicing and tuning in because then you know like if a car is going to swerve and accidentally hit you you've braked and slowed down without even knowing why again this is trusting intuition and doing things without knowing why before they swerve and then they swerve and cross lanes and then go off the road perhaps you know that could have been you but your intuition is just automatically slowed you down because you're constantly tuning in and aware of what's going on right Um, but it does come with you know practice and reflection but it is that same thing it's like you know soon you know you're coming out of kindergarten into grade one two three four five into high school do you know what I mean so it is practice it is time but with time you become super intuitive you become super in tune and you know you you know and a lot of you guys here on this live stream and that follow me you are so much more intuitive than you think you are you do things you say things you eat things like but without even realizing why like you're so much more into you're intuitively knowing what to eat you're intuitively knowing where to go you're intuitively doing these things more than you realize you are and it's really important to remember that because you are connected to your heart you are connected to spirit you are connected to nature right you wouldn't be here following me resonating with things that i say and tell you if you weren't you do have a um It's not that you're more, we are more aware, otherwise you wouldn't be here. But, you know, there's certain people that, you know, sense things that don't even realize it too, right? Everyone's got the sense. Like, I I totally believe that. That's why I'm like, everybody has the potential to be highly psychic. It's just they don't want to, they don't trust it. Yeah, but everyone is connected and in tune and there's some people that are more intuitive than others. Yes, because they're more open and trust it more and they do things more without realizing why. Yeah. Oh, I feel like that's finished now. <laughs> so I hope that helps you. Um, if it has, please give me some love hearts. I know you guys did before too, but please let me know. And if you think that this can help somebody, please tag them in the comments. Please share it in a personal message to them. Um, and if you do want to work one-on-one with me, you will know it's a soul calling. It's like, yes, I want Hannah in my pocket <laughs> right now. Then please send me a message because that is what it is. Yeah, thanks to the love hearts. Olivia, beautiful. Yes, 100%. Um, so yeah, send me a message and I'll send you all the details. You can get started right away and the investment will be going up after the first three clients. So first in, first serve and then that high price after that will be my normal rate. So if you want to get in, do that ASAP, send me a message. Otherwise, I shall see you guys really soon. I will be coming back in full force after a little bit more restructure, but I will be tapping back into this. And remember, the most important point of power is your thoughts and the words that you give voice to your feelings. So always choose what you're wanting to give voice to or more so choose of how you wish to feel and voice that instead. Okay, it's not about not being authentic, but it is about choosing consciously and putting energy into what you want rather than what you don't want. Okay, have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your weekend and I shall see you very soon. Keeping it real as always, lots of love. Namaste.